Hi, this is Nafil from Note Solution. We're going to be talking about long run competitive equilibrium today, and we're going to be looking at a medium difficulty question just to clarify our concepts. <clears throat> so, the question is about efficiency in production, and it says In the long run equilibrium of a market with free entry and exit, if all firms have the same cost structure, then, and then we have our option. So, the first option says, then marginal cost exceeds total average total cost so a situation where marginal cost would exceed average total cost would be somewhere over here so this means that the cost of producing that last unit is greater than your other costs on average or the cost of producing all the units on average so this would mean that your average costs are in fact increasing or rising and so it will be better for you to reduce output just because Remember, once again, the price is given, so the price is just going to be this line over there. And so this is saying that your marginal cost, as well as your average cost, is greater than price at this particular point. And so it would pay you to, in fact, decrease output and go back to this point right over there, just because that's the point where price is equal to marginal cost and also average cost, and it's maximizing or becoming most efficient as a result of no profits or losses. And over here, for example, you have losses just because your costs are more than the price that you're getting for them. So it would be beneficial for you to, in fact, reduce production. And how that's done in the industry as a whole is just basically the firms over here think it's not worthwhile to stay in the industry anymore. And so they exit, which reduces supply and which, in fact, reduces price, which reduces cost. And so they come back to this point right over there. And so... In the, when it says in the long run, this would actually be happening, that would be wrong since marginal cost equals average total cost in the long run and is not greater than or less than it. So if it's less than, then you can produce more. If it's greater than, you can produce less and return to this point right over there. So the next one says the price of the good exceeds average total cost. So this would be a strange situation where, for example, if I were to shift price up, it would be somewhere over there, but that would actually give um, rise to more firms entering the market and saying, you know what, um, now the price is higher, we can actually afford to make even higher profits just because um, the price is greater than the average cost. And so that would in fact give rise to another average cost curve that would be on a higher location over there, saying that the longer an equilibrium point is one where the, long, the average cost is tangent to the price line rather than um, intersects it. And so if this were to increase, your average cost would also be increasing just because of the uh, more people that are coming into the market. So and your quantity could go anywhere depending on where the minimum point of our new average cost curve would be. So it would be once again wrong or incorrect to say that in the long run, the price of the good exceeds the average total cost because that would not make sense. So that would not be where our equilibrium could exist. The next one says, average total cost exceeds the price of the good. Now, any of these points right over here are points where the average cost exceeds the price of the good, except for this point right over there where it's tangent or equal to the price. So what you want to be looking at right over here is, for example, at this point, we see that the longer average cost is greater than price, but the marginal cost is much lower than price. And so... This is saying that the cost of producing that last unit is much lesser than the price that you're actually getting for it in the market. So you should, in fact, increase production or go from here, from this point right over there, which was right over there. So you can increase production to this point, which would mean that your average cost would also be decreasing in this, in this segment and your marginal cost would be increasing until you reach a point where price equals to marginal cost, which is equal to average cost as we've also written over there for equilibrium. So we want a situation where this happens so that there's a stable equilibrium rather than if we are away from this point, for example, over here where the average cost is greater than price, giving rise to the fact that people can actually produce more or there's firms that, act, that can actually enter the market and um, increase supply. So quantity goes up just to reach this equilibrium point once again. So it would be wrong to say that the average total cost exceeds the price of the good in equilibrium 
when there's entry and when the entry and exit of firms are, are free. So anybody can entry and anybody can um, anybody can enter and anybody can exit, which means that this point is the only point where nobody has an incentive to change, and so that would be our minimum efficient scale or the point where we are most efficient. The last one says firms are operating at their efficient scale. Now, the efficient scale is this point right over here. So this is our also our equilibrium point, and you can also take E to mean efficient. Now, what's the minimum efficient scale? Is basically a scale where your marginal cost is equal to the average cost, saying that the production of that last unit is equal to all of the units, the cost of all the units on average in the long run. So if in fact your marginal costs were greater than this average cost, that would mean that you're in somewhere along this line or in this segment, so you're greater than um, the average cost. And this would mean that your average costs are consistently increasing, and so it would benefit you to reduce output. Now how that's done is of course in the short run, firms see a high profit and so they enter, but then when they, when they see that it's saturated or the marginal cost is going higher than the average cost, then they exit, hence reducing supply and reducing output, which would once again point you back in the direction of the minimum efficient scale or the point where this is true. And so, and similarly, if the marginal cost was less than the average cost, this would in fact be an invitation for firms since average costs are falling. So, you know, everybody wants to be a part of falling average costs because we're in this segment right over there. And so firms will be entering and it would increase production until we get to this point, which is our minimum efficient scale right over there. So part D is hence correct when it said that um, in a long run equilibrium of a market with free entry and exit, if all firms have the same cost structure, then firms will be operating at their efficient scale. So part D.